All right, homesteader family. So we're here at the house today, and it is a bit chilly out. It is a whopping. Actually, it warmed up. It's 47 degrees now. It was a lot colder earlier, uh, but I, I just went ahead and started a fire. And I've had some comments on my firewood videos and uh, different stove videos on why is my chimney not caked with creosote? Well, you can see right now the door is cracked. And uh, what I do, even though it's the whole logs, like I said, I use a split board here on the bottom uh, to put the fire starter on over here, the strike of fire. Uh, as you can see, I just have these few pieces of split wood. Everything else is whole rounds. And uh, what I do is I leave this door open for a bit. And uh, it gets a lot more oxygen. See, if I back up here, you can see it's actually open a lot more than what it looked like. Uh, but the reason I do that at the start of every fire is so it gets really hot really quick. And then sometimes, if I leave it too long... This pipe will get cherry red. So, yes, I burn not completely seasoned wood here and there. I burn whole logs instead of split logs. And uh, that's why my fireplace isn't filled with creosote. Is because I heat everything up uh, nice and hot every fire. And if you do that, your chimney and stuff doesn't have an opportunity to fill up with creosote because that extended heat burns everything off and like I said I had the inspector out here they passed my stove and uh, that's that so I'm gonna go ahead I got my dolly right here I go ahead and uh, I just lay logs down it and then wheel it in because it's a lot easier a lot less uh, work than having to haul arm loads. I can just roll it into the house, grab the next load, roll it into the house, and of course, check out the views. Mm -mm -mm. Boy, am I gonna miss these views. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see if it will focus. It's a little bit cloudy and everything. But, that's pretty much it. So I just wanna show you guys why my stove pipe's not filled with creosote and uh, what I do on a day that I'm home. You know, just bring in firewood, retop everything off uh, before we get the next storm. This lasted through the whole last storm and you can see I still have tons of wood in here. But I like to have it brought up to the top just so if we have a bad, bad storm, I'm taken care of. So I'm going to get wood brought in. I got laundry to do and edit in videos. So have a good day. I'll talk to you guys later.